For some reason, I know what to say when I'm not filming, but as soon as the camera starts rolling, I'm like, what, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm vlogging today. I'm just doing kind of a quick little vlog because I haven't put up a video in a while. Uh, I don't really know, what, like a week or more. Um, I have not been good at all. Um, sorry about the traffic noise. I have the window open. It's still so hot here in Ireland. It's ridiculous. I'm getting sick of this weather because I think it is making me unwell. Yeah, yeah. So over a week ago, I got um, the beginning of my X Files tattoo. It's on this arm. I'm not going to show you guys much because um, there will be a video coming, and it's not healed either. It's um, very dry at the moment and you can see I got some like feckin rashes and stuff so basically I, a video will be coming where I'll be talking about that and talking about basically me go, going through getting the tattoo because it was not good um it was extremely painful I wasn't well so basically since then I just haven't been myself at all I haven't been able to kind of get out of that rush of unwellness my IBS is completely out of control um I I'm pretty much like not going anywhere because of it and I don't want to put myself through that either because I feel exhausted and it's like if I do decide to go somewhere the energy that takes my fibro is out of control but mainly my anxiety I'm I'm so low like the last few days I was really really down I'm finding it very difficult to want to do anything like I love making my videos and I get really excited about it and now it's like a chore like it's so hard to do anything it's just yeah it's getting to me but I do feel a bit better today and that's why I'm filming and that's why I decided sorry my tattoo is is kind of there too and it's all itchy around it and I have to try and like scratch and not get it but um Today I just wanted to do something and I said I'd vlog, that's the easiest thing I can think of, that's handiest for me, but I'm also going to do, uh, I'm going to do my makeup, definitely. Um, you guys know I mentioned this before, but I did a makeup prompt thing, I'll try and put it up here. Um, I just made it myself with some random ideas and things, but I haven't done it in ages, and the one that I have to do now is Ravenclaw. Um, it's basically your house, whatever your Harry Potter house is. Um, I'm Ravenclaw, so I want to do kind of a Ravenclaw inspired look. But also I got some new makeup, so I'm going to show you the new stuff that I got. Um, I was going to do like a video using the makeup and like a first impressions. I don't have the energy for it. Um, basically when I'm doing my makeup, I'll time lapse it, that's it. I do not have the energy to make a makeup tutorial or anything like that or a review thing. I'm just not able. But what I will do is I'll show you what I got. So I bought some stuff from Makeup Revolution. And um, I have stuff from them before. I think they're just called Revolution Makeup now. Or just Revolution. I don't know. I'll link everything below anyway. Basically after I got my tattoo I was really down and I just wanted some new stuff. And I wanted one particular palette that was really nice. And then I saw some other stuff that I wanted and then it ended up I might as well bring it up to the price where I get this free gift and I'm pretty sure I got free shipping as well so <sighs> I cannot be spending stuff right now but um, I, I really love this stuff and I want to try it out and I won't be buying anything else for the for be, for foreseeable future definitely especially coming up to Halloween and everything and um, I've done I've done a few steps to stop me from kind of seeing things that I want to buy like I find like the internet is just so you're you're f there's constant stream of stuff that you see that you want and maybe you don't particularly need but for me I find it a bit difficult so I unsubscribed from a lot of emails that were like any kind of products and I unfollowed nearly I fought unfollowed so many shops and things on Instagram that was a death trap really but even I was noticing like I was going on YouTube and I wanted to watch some YouTube videos and like there's so there's so many hauls and things I'm adding to it now doing a haul but you know what I mean there is so many hauls and things that it, it you do find it hard like like I want to watch those Halloween hauls but if I do I might want to buy all the stuff Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got and I'm like not going to do any close-ups or anything like that. I'm just going to show you a very old-fashioned haul. So that's just the thing to tell me what I got. 
It came in like tons and tons of bubble wrap and in a, a bag. It came in a bag with tons and tons of bubble wrap and nothing was broken. Um, so good. They packaged it really well. Um, which is like you, thinking of how cheap this brand is and how well they can do it. And Debenhams need to get their shit together because every time I've bought from the Debenhams site, um, it's been a disaster and things have been broken and they could learn a few things. Right, so this is the palette that I wanted to get. And this is all Treacle Tat's fault, Lauren from Treacle Tat's. She had this and I, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. So it's basically just tons of glitter. Damn you. This is just a little cover on it. But it's just tons of glitter. It's just pressed glitter. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to use this today because there's blue and Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw is blue, so I really want to try this out. Um, it's just straight up glitter, and I have glitter glue too for um, your like eyeshadow glitter glue or whatever from. I think it's a NYX one. Anyway, I think this was only eleven ninety nine, which is really good and it's really nice packaging and all so that was the first thing and then i got this palette look at those colors they are so nice oh my god um i don't know i might use some of this today because i do need a kind of a bronzy color oh hang on now so pretty that is so nice um the camera isn't picking them up like like very well but like they are very different colors and they are really nice so there is some kind of goldy bronzy colours that I might use, that's what I was trying to say. I might use in my Ravenclaw look because um, uh, the Ravenclaw colours are bronze and blue. But then, you see, I got really confused because then you'd see it other places and it'd be silver. And then you'd see that like an eagle was their um, animal logo thing. And then you'd see that it was like just a raven, like they're called Ravenclaw. So I was really confused about it. But turns out in the book it's different than the film. I don't know why they changed it. It was really stupid. So in the book it's bronze and blue and it's the the eagle. But in the film they changed it to bronze and silver with the raven. So don't be confusing us. But yeah, I can't wait to use them. They look really nice. So I don't know like quality wise. I don't think I've ever used their eyeshadows. I have used other stuff. Um, I got two brushes. This is mainly just to add up the price, like to get whatever free. I can't. I just can't remember what way it worked. But um, these were only like two something each, like really, really cheap. So this is a pro eyeshadow con eyeshadow contour brush. Um, it's just really nice and fluffy and yeah, for bl blending. And this is the pro eyeshadow brush. It just says, and it's just a flat um brush. So I think this might be good for putting on. The glitter that's what i thought i'd use that for anyway i got a uh, basically i'm pretty sure this is just a coal supreme pigment gel eyeliner right i thought it was a coal one but it might be still like a gel kind of coal eyeliner like to put on your waterline because i hate the urban decay one i have the rimmel one isn't very good it doesn't but it is good the rimmel is the best so far um i have a nyx one it's totally crap it's so bad and um, so I'm hoping maybe their one will be good. What else have I got? Oh yeah, the brow pomade. So this is in granite. So this is brow pomade. Um, it's just basically a brow gel. And it's in granite, so black. That's what I need because I'm really dark. And if it happens the slightest bit brown, it looks totally off on me. But um, I just said I'd try this because... They're really popular, you know, I think it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that's really popular, I'd love to try it. And then there's a NYX one as well, but um, this one was pretty cheap and I just said, i give it a try. I got, oh yeah, I got these, I'm excited, I'm really excited about these. So um, my lips aren't the greatest and I find that sometimes matte, matte, matte lipsticks can be a bit hard on me, so I said I'd love to try um just have some lipsticks some nice lipsticks i have makeup revolution lipsticks i remember i bought these really really cheap colorful ones and um the purple one specifically ended up being really freaking nice and i keep forgetting that i have it and to wear it and um but these ones are the pro lipstick kit um noir mattes collection so it's five full size lipsticks and it really was very cheap so they're all dark awesome colors oh yes 
and I will show you them now. So this is Twilight. That is awesome. I cannot wear it to wear these. I really want to try them. I'm not going to swatch or anything. Like I will eventually wear them and you'll probably see them in vlogs, in videos or um, if I do makeup tutorials in future. Um, there just won't be one now. So this is, this is Noir. Uh, just called Noir. This, oh my god. It looks black but it's not and there's kind of like a U, I thought there was a U of purple but it's kind of, it's more red, a red U on it um, or like a brownie colour. Um, it's really interesting, um, I will like to try that um, when I can. Um, what else is there? This is called Watching and it's more of a, a kind of a pinky, dusky, rosy colour. <laughs> it's really nice though, um, it looks like a kind of a a more of a nude than all of the rest of them and it looks like it would probably be easy to wear all of these are sealed but they're actually sealed really nicely and you can take them out easy nothing worse than trying to fake and open some this is absolutely really beautiful and pretty it's a dark purple it's it's really lovely um i will be wearing that it's called darkness really lovely and then the last one this one's called midnight that is lovely. It's just like a dark, it's a dark red, basically. I'd say it's a vampy red. So yeah, I really love them. I will definitely try and do a review on them or something if I can. Um, they are very pretty and I'm just glad to have some like lipsticks and they're matte lipsticks. Um, so I just, I just think they might be a bit nicer than wearing the, the matte lipstick all the time because it can just be very drying. I got this basically it's a ghost sculpt so um this was like a Halloween collection obviously and um, it's such a big pan I love it but basically when I want to do my gothy looks this is what I need and what I want so it's black and white basically black for your contour white for your highlight and um yeah I totally use these like in general day-to-day -day looks not just for Halloween and it's just the size of it is really good and it was fairly cheap because it was on offer and then we have one last thing, I think. So we have one last thing, and this is concealer, but it's white. I was very excited about this. So basically, I am so pale that I find it very hard to find concealers that are light enough for me. And um, now, I could have went for the color up from white, obviously, because I'm not white. Like, you know, I'm, well, I'm, I mean, I am white, <laughs> but I'm not this white. And, um, but I said that I'd love to just try it because like I said, for my gothy looks, I really want to be like very pale and white so that this will help. But also for just general days, I could mix it with the concealer that I have right now because I have two con NYX concealers and um, they're very yellow based. Um, I don't, I'm not, like I wish they did a lighter color basically. Um, and it's like, it's not the most amazing concealer either. Like it's, it does crease and everything so I said like this can't be as bad basically but yeah it's white I'm gonna try it today um definitely oh my god it's just so white yeah that's that's awesome so I can't wait to try that and um it's called conceal and correct color correcting concealer so when you bought all that stuff um if you got up to a certain price and I totally forget it was like 40 euro or something you got this free bag um I think they said this was worth 50 I don't know and I don't quote me on that but I think it said that but you got a mystery bag and this was all um like inside it they were all in bubble wrap and everything as well I have them out now so I'll show you guys what I got so I didn't pick any of these these are just random so one of the big things was this it's the revolution um ultra professional corrector palette so basically it's all like color correcting um like concealing kind of stuff yeah so the, basically they're all concealers um and you yeah, know you can see the colors better like that and they basically just if you need any color correcting on your skin now i've never really used anything like this and i do find that cream products and stuff like that sometimes they do crease on me especially but i am excited definitely to try it sometime i'm not gonna try it today I will try it another day, especially like for the greens and stuff. For my redness, you can see like how red I am. I'm even more red in real life. Like this just in it to see if it does anything. And um, I can't remember what is it orange, the more dark orangey color for under your eyes to get rid of the like purple and blue. So 
Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I, I see a lot of people, this is kind of one of the things that people go on about for Makeup Revolution, like one of the favourites. So, I definitely will try it. Um, I then got this in it now. I'm not, I, I don't think I will be using this. I could definitely do a video where I can try like a bunch of um, products from them, maybe. Maybe stuff that I wouldn't usually normally use, like this and the corrector I could do that someday it won't be today but definitely another day yeah I might do that so basically this is a silicone heart sponge and this is for applying your makeup kind of like a beauty blender but um I've heard bad things about these they're not meant to be good um our fun silicone heart for flawless blending and no makeup wastage made from premium silicone material um I definitely like I wouldn't normally buy this but now that I have it I am curious to try it so um I'll let you guys know then we have this. This is a lip lava liquid lipstick with vitamin E. So this is forgiven. This is I love makeup. See, see, I know Revolution, they have like makeup names off of their name, but that they sell on the site, I, I don't really understand. So lip lava is a super intense liquid lipstick formula with nourishing vitamin E. So I'm assuming it's not a matte one. It's just a liquid, um, oh yeah, it's got like a spongy applicator thing. So again, it could be something I try. It's definitely a colour I like. Um, it's just like a brownie nudie colour. Um, but I think that's good. It, it might be easy to apply over other lipsticks and stuff. Um, again, could be another thing I could try in a video or something. Um, oh yeah, this was exciting. This is a, a bronzer. It's called Bronzed um, Bronzed Professional. Now this is from Freedom. But I'm pre again, I'm pretty sure it's all the same um, thing. Hang on, let me open it. And anyway, on the back it says warm light, but what I liked about this was it's really light and it doesn't look too orange. Um, it actually looks a lot darker on camera. It is a lot lighter in real life. And um, it just, I've never had a bronzer before um, actually. So um, yeah, to bronze up and warm my face up, um, I will definitely would like to try it. Um, yeah, cool. And then along with that we got the ultra contouring kit again this is really good because it's a it says lightning contour number two so it's pretty light it's um hours. okay um it's what i need for like my skin tone um i can't get away with anything else it needs to be quite light so you can see there's like the contour shade um i would definitely go for something ashy usually but if i wanted a kind of a warm look again with the bronzer or that I could definitely try this the two colors at the side um this is a matte kind of it's creamy it's not totally white but it's definitely night light enough that I could get away with it and this is a cream product so it's a cream highlight and again it's just it's kind of creamy colored but it is close to white um it's just basically a very good color for me I don't know how they knew but they sent me good color matched things of course, when I use them, it could be very different. What are you? Get out, you're a weird fly. So this is a Makeup Revolution London Iconic Pro Lipstick. Um, no Perfection Yet. Is that the name of it? No Perfection Yet. Um, it's just a nor normal lipstick that is... It looks to be glossy, definitely. That's actually a really nice colour. It's kind of a fuchsia, but like a dark fuchsia. Um, I will definitely try this. And this is like a kind of a nudie pink. It's a pink. So yeah, this is pink. It's very straight up pink. I really like that though and I will be trying it. Like I, I wear everything basically. So yeah, that was all the stuff. So like prices and stuff, I'm not gonna go through it, but basically everything was very cheap. Like I said, the palette with the pressed glitter was only 11 99 I'm pretty sure. Actually, there's no prices on this. Um, yeah, and then I loved it that you got the free little thing and you don't know what's in it and it's random and I think I got some pretty good stuff. So now I'm going to go do my makeup because time is ticking away and I still want to film some other videos.
So it's a while later and I have filmed two videos. I filmed one doing the Pottermore quizzes and I filmed one Harry Potter tag with Steve and they should be up sometime. I will be editing and schedule them. Um, I think this vlog will be up first though because I kind of want to I just want to have this up first because I haven't put anything up in a while so I kind of wanted to explain where I was and stuff. I done my makeup, it looks absolutely amazing now I have been wearing it and it's kind of... Mascara always does this to me no matter what. Um, so like it's all down here now and everything but I'd be taking it off so that's why I wanted to show you guys now and I did have lipstick on but it's gone too but you'll see it in the videos. Anyway, look how amazing it is. It's so glittery and amazing and that's the palette. I'm going to show you a close up of it now because it's too nice. It's the Makeup Revolution palette. I highly recommend it. Like it's absolutely amazing. This went on no problem even though I did use a glue primer thing. And then I just did these little designs with my eyeliner. And yeah, I really love it. And um, I'm getting a lot of compliments on it. I've already put it up online and stuff. So I am thinking I might in future when I'm up to it and feeling a bit better, recreate this look and um, upload it because it was very quick and easy. I didn't really know what I was doing and um, I probably could do it even better next time maybe. Anyway, I'm going to be getting my food now soon and that's pretty mu much all for the night. Um, I'll be editing and stuff. So here it is, Makeup Revolution. And it's kind of gritty, like it's it's a, a weird feeling. Okay, that's what I'm on the back of it. I'm after dumping the thing that it came in, so sorry. But um, look how nice. So obviously this is the colour I used. Hang on, can I zoom in? Oh yeah. So this was the glitter that I used. Um it's called magic act and look at all these other ones sorry about the dog barking um i want to try all of these the cameras are doing it justice but they are very glittery see can i go this side um but they're really yeah, that's a bit better you can kind of see the color a lot better so i can't wait to try all of these i'm very excited they are just they're just really good quality um 11.99 i'm pretty sure this was that is in Eleven ninety nine in like uh, oh damn I got glitter on me now, in um euros so go check it out really good. So that's all for me today. I was actually gonna vlog tomorrow but I decided not to because this is pretty long anyway. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the stuff I got. There's a mod. No. Um, I'm gonna go now and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.